Okay, as students of prophecy, we understand that right before Jesus gets here, the weather's going to go crazy. The uh, there's just going to be calamities all over the place. You know, you know, natural and man-made disasters and whatnot. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been reporting on this for many, many, many years. Uh, and uh, just recently, in fact, if you click this area here, it brings you to the sermons. And if you go down to the most current service on the bottom, uh, what was it? Yeah, on the 14th of January, I'm, I'm in the middle of a um, current events in prophecy kind of a thing, this sermon series I'm doing. And on the 14th, I did uh, this thing about this, the weather, the strange weather. And so, and we've got plenty of evidence to show this is all prophesied to occur, right, from the scriptures. And, uh, and then I had a page on the site years ago that I stopped updating, but I left it there because of what's on here. Check out this prophecy from Mosaic about how the beasts and the, the fowls and the fishes and, I mean, everything's dying before Jesus gets here. And so I started logging this stuff onto this page. And as you see, these are nations that are having these events happening in, in biblical proportions in all their countries, right? Uh, but it's nowhere near as bad. I mean, some of these nations are pretty bad, like China and Australia, like we just saw a minute ago. But when you get to the United States, which is the most evil nation on earth as far as I'm concerned, second only to the Vatican, but then again, you got the first and second beast there. That was also prophesied. But when you get to the United States, you got to see this. It's unbelievable. All this, from Alabama on down, this is all happening in our nation. That's per state. All right? And, I, and like I said, I stopped doing this, logging this page, um, or updating this page, rather, in 2013. And then I just dumped a bunch of links that I found, all just without separating them from country to state or whatever. And, uh, and, and this is, you know, judging by the bar here, this is going to go a while, so I'm not going to bother going through all that. But uh, as we know, the calamities are going to get worse, and that's why I have a page on the website in regards to, the, you know, how the Antichrist is going to use, I mean, take this to his advantage. And this is why you see all the videos and stuff like that about climate change and global warming and, and whatnot. And on these four videos, I show why they're actually doing it. But check this out. This, you talk about something that... Uh, is strange because I remember one time I was driving to work and, and this isn't a tornado, by the way, even though the video says it's a tornado, it's not, it's a, it's a dust devil. And, um, I live out in corn country, right? In soybean country. And so, so one time before I went into the ministry full time, this was years ago, I, uh, had a pullover cause there was a dust devil going through a cornfield that was just harvested and it had rained the night before. So the dust devil wasn't picking up any dust, no dirt. It was picking up millions of pieces of corn husks and stalks and you know whatever's left behind after they harvest right and it was the most amazing thing to see that's why i wanted to pull over because i could see maybe i don't know six seven eight hundred feet into the air these things are going up and it was just slowly moving like these tumbleweeds here these tumbleweeds many of them are well they're all being sucked up by this dust devil and the dust devil's filled up with smoke from the fire and the dust devil itself is giving the fire the oxygen it needs. And then the dust devils fall, land in the fire, come back up into the dust devil, and then go around and land down on a field that's not burning and then start that one on fire. And then they go back up and they bounce again. It's just amazing to watch what's going on here. You talk about a strange calamity. This is it. Check it out. make things very interesting. Notice how they're, you know, coming around and they're dropping to the ground. They're landing on the burning ground and then they go back up and then they land again. But now the dust devil has moved a little. And so they're just restarting the fires as they're going down. But it'll be a little bit more graphic as it gets towards the end of the video. But check it out. Quickly. Now look at that, all the dust devils. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are getting caught up in that tree, but it ain't going to slow this thing down. You're actually going to see some fire kind of get 
you know, fanned up because of all the oxygen that's in that dust devil. Because it's moving. It's moving to the left. tell they're burning. Those are burning tumbleweeds now. They're going to land somewhere else. And the dust devil itself is going to fan the embers on the tumbleweed and it's just going to start another fire. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So, and I think it's going to get a lot worse than this in the days ahead. Thank you for watching. God bless. Yeah, it's fun about the uh, three places in Boston, Natural Land, Colorado.